I wanted to get some video footage of this lower unit before I put any paint on it just to show how how pitted this is it's pretty bad I'm really spraying it in these cracks and crevices uh, trying to fill in all these voids help protect it as best as I can get a little more life out of it so I'm working on this lower house and I want to try to get it together soon <laughs> Uh, I had to clean it though. Um, I Zincro made the bottom of this because I was able to get it in that Harbor Freight, you know, sandblasting cabinet. I was unable to really do the top part of it, unfortunately. So I didn't really get in here all that well. I got some of it, like, you know, the very surface parts, but down in, it was real hard to get to. Uh, so I didn't get it. I sanded the rest of this with um, a mixture of like a sanding disc with like one of these, you know, orbital style sanding discs for like the stuff that I could reach, the stuff that I couldn't reach this was left over from a project it's for like doing uh, like porting work or whatever you know, from Harbor Freight, this wouldn't actually do a good job for doing any kind of engine porting, but uh it comes with these little mandrels they're like threaded and then you just throw you thread these on uh, if you do wind up getting these these kind you have to watch how they're wound if you put them on upside down they'll just blow apart <laughs> um, and then you put that on you could use an electric one I used a uh, pneumatic die grinder um, I suppose a drill like uh, I think a drill like this would work just fine you just it's not as fast but I noticed the faster I went the quicker the uh, sanding discs like blew apart and then um, that worked good, you know, trying to get in some of these really tight spots. These two holes back here, I actually had to use a drill bit. That calcium was so, so like thick, uh, I had to like chip it out. It was incredible. And then I finished up what I could with just uh, one of these. I guess, what would it be? Number nine? <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. Um... So that I was able to really get in here and clean all that junk in there which is uh, getting this out it was like stuck I had a hard time getting it out so now I got all of that junk out of there then I just kind of finished up what I could with this some uh, you know stainless steel wire brushes I didn't get it perfect this is like the exhaust cavity obviously I have a through hole exhaust so this port doesn't even get used I'm just trying to clean this stuff off so I can, uh, you know, put this in chrome and in there and, uh, you know, let it not rot. The only real ports I'm using is obviously this is the water intake that goes to uh, cool the, uh, the uh, water heat exchanger. This is the gear drive and then this is the shifter. So this is pretty much clean. So is this. You just have to clean this cavity here where that piece sits on here to suck the water up. And then, like I said, from here back, really, you know, doesn't get used for anything. So, you just got to make sure it's clean. This, I don't know how the heck I'm going to get that out of there. That's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a screwdriver and just pick it a little bit. But I just wanted to share how I clean this thing. And hopefully, uh, you know, this stuff will help somebody. If you have a sandblaster big enough, you can fit this in there and you can blast it all out. That would be the ideal way to go. But, um... If you can't run the problem I had, like that one they sell at Harbor Freight for like 150 bucks or whatever, you cannot flip this around the right way to, like, you know how the thing's on an angle? The high part is where the gloves need to come in so you can flip it up and get in there. Um, the way they're made, the low part's in there, and you just can't flip it to, to get in there. So that was my issue with that. Wanted to get a quick video here. I'm in the middle of doing the honeydew list. I got this thing all degreased. Uh, I'll paint it up. Hopefully tonight I can stick some gears in it, maybe. I got that silver paint to put on it yet, too. Yeah. Alright, back to work. Alright, we got some of this uh, SX Silver from old Volvo Penta. Did I miss a spot? 